Welcome to Reading Africa. Today we're going to read about the Anglo Aru War. The Anglo Aru War was a conflict between the Aru Confederacy in present day eastern Nigeria and the British Empire. The war began after increasing tensions between the Aru leaders and the British colonialists after years of failed negotiations. The war started in November 1901 and lasted till March 1902. The Aru Confederacy, whose powers extended across eastern Nigeria and beyond, was challenged in the last decades of the 19th century by increasing British penetration of the hinterland. The Aru people and their allies resisted the penetration, which threatened their culture, influence and sovereignty. Reasons for the war advanced by Sir Ralph Moore, the British Commissioner of the Nigerian coast, included putting an end to slave trade, abolishing the Juju hierarchy of the Aru tribe, which gave power to the priests and did not allow the establishment of government. The Aru people's use of divinatory practice in shrines dedicated to the god Ibn Okabi and their domination of enslavement activities was perceived to be contrary to the imperial ambition of British powers, which was the cause of the need to consequently destroy the primary aim of the Arachuku. The Arrows knew that British penetration would destroy their economic dominance in the hinterland. They also opposed their religion, Christianity, which threatened their religious influence through their oracle. The Arrow led raids and invasions on communities were conducted in order to undermine British penetration since 1890. While the British prepared for the invasion of Arachuku in November 1901, the Arrow launched their last major offensive before the Arrow expedition by the British forces. Arrow forces led by Okoro Toti sacked Obiegu, which resulted in 400 people dying. This attack quickened British preparation for their offensive. Sir Ralph Moore and the Royal Niger Company had planned the attack on the Arrows and the Bini Upavi Oracles in September 1899, but due to the lack of necessary manpower, it was delayed until November 1901. On November the 28th, Lieutenant Connell Arthur Forbes Montaro led 87 officers, 1,550 soldiers, 2,100 carriers in four axes of advance to Arachuku from Agiota, Agueta, Unwana and Itu on a counter-insurgency campaign. As expected, Arrow forces resisted all axes strongly. Although they lacked modern weapons, however, Arachuku was captured on December 28 after four days of fierce battles in and around the city. As a result, the Ibini Akpabi Shrine was allegedly blown up. Battles between British and Arrow forces continued throughout the region until spring 1902, when Arrow forces were defeated in the last major battle at Bende. The Arrow expedition ended three weeks later. The result of the war led in Arrow leaders like Okoro Toti being arrested, tried by tribunals and hanged. The Aro Confederacy was destroyed and Eze Kanu Okoro went into hiding but was later arrested. Although Aro dominance crumbled in March 1902, many Aros took part in later resistances against the British in the region such as Afiapo, Eza and other areas where the Aro had particularly significant presence. The defeat of the Arrow did help the British to open up the interior, but serious opposition to British penetration in Ebo land clearly did not end with the Anglo Arrow War. In the years that followed, the British had to deal with many other conflicts and wars in various parts of Ebo land, such as the Nui conflict in 1905 to 1911, the Eku Meku War from 18. 1883 to 1914 and the Igbo Women's War 
in 1929. This is the end of the reading for the Anglo-Aral Wall. Thank you for listening.